Hello everyone, welcome back to my stupid Riverlands farm. Today I'm going to be playing through a little bit more time because I want even more crab pots and I'm going to be changing my strategy on those a little bit. I'm going to have to upgrade my house that way I can make sashimi out of some of the stuff that comes out of the crab pots for a little more value. Maybe at that point it will be worth my time. So I'm going to be playing through several seasons of crops and also putting more stuff into my recycling machine because thanks to the comments I realized I can get more stuff out of it such as useful iron ore and cloth and stuff like that so I wish I had known that sooner. Could have saved myself a little bit of trouble. Also I'm going to be making friends with Linus who gives you this ishimi recipe after level 3 friendship and conveniently the 3rd of winter is his birthday, so I'm gonna go see if I can find him. I think he's normally at his tent at the start of the day. And luckily, I still have spring onions left over all the way from spring. And he happens to like those, so he's gonna get one of those. Obviously, on his birthday, you get extra points, extra friendship points for giving them something they like. There are things that he likes more, but I don't have access to those right now. If I could get to the desert, that would be perfect. He seems to like the desert stuff. Alright, so let's feed this poor fella. Also, I believe if you talk to someone, it gets you a few small friendship points, not very much. And just like that, after one gift on his birthday, he's already up to one heart. He loves me just a little bit. So at two gifts per week, it shouldn't take me long to get him up to three hearts. And if you give people a gift on the 25th of winter, you get bonus points there too. So by the end of winter, he should love me quite a bit. And since I need 450 wood for my first house upgrade, I'm just going to spend the rest of my day simply cutting down trees. That has the added benefit of clearing my field a little bit. My recycling machine has given me a torch. I'm just going to go ahead and sell those because maybe they're worth at least a little bit of money because I have no use for a torch. My recycling machine has just given me some cloth. That's actually fairly useful because otherwise it's actually quite hard to get. I'm not sure if I have any immediate use for the cloth however but it's always good to have it just because. And a lot of people have been asking me lately what I use to edit and all that. And right now I'm simply using the Windows Movie Maker, the basic one that comes with Windows. I do actually also have the Adobe Premiere editing program as well. I just don't use it that often. These videos for now are staying pretty simple and I don't have a lot of time to do any fancy editing or anything crazy like that. Basically all my time goes into making this content, recording it. And I would love to have more time to do more editing and crazy videos but simply I'm very limited for time so this is all I can do. That is also why I don't have any crazy thumbnails or a crazy intro or anything like that. Just simply all my time goes into the content and that's all I can do for now. Anyways, I've cut 231 wood so far and I don't want to keep eating my items for energy when I can just go to bed and get energy the next day, so I'm going to do that. Those torches I sold were worth 15 gold total, that means 5 gold each. So the 4th of winter, pretty much the same drill as yesterday. Feed my recycling machine and go see Linus. I'm going to take the short way today and that will be his two gifts for the week. So another spring onion given to Linus, he is not up to two hearts yet. That's okay, he will be by the end of the season, at which point I can go back to ignoring him and forgetting that he exists. Now I'm just going to spend the rest of my day once again chopping wood. Another considerable downside to this farm layout is that the trees and stuff do grow on the edge of the water of course, so when you cut them down, often, the stuff falls right into the water and you can't get it. I'm up to 406 wood already but I'm out of energy once again so I'm going to bed, chop a little more wood tomorrow and then I've got all the wood I need. Also I'm going to need a little bit more money than what I have for spring when I need to plant my spring crop. So I'm going to spend some of this day and the rest of winter fishing because I want to see what kind of winter fish I can catch and hopefully they're very valuable. 7.30am I've already got my 450 wood so put those in the bin and then I'm going to go fish in the ocean. After a few hours of fishing in the ocean this morning, I caught a sea cucumber, which is the only thing out of the ordinary. Everything else is pretty plain, nothing I haven't caught yet. So now I'm going to spend a few hours in the mountain lake here to see if there's anything fun here. I thought about trying to catch the legendary fish on the east side of the beach at the ocean today, but I haven't repaired the bridge yet and I don't really want to spend 300 wood to do so. If I get really bored I might do that but the legendary fish just annoy me anyway trying to catch them. They're just like this thing except harder. I did just catch a lingcod which I would assume is a winter only fish because it is the first one I caught and it put up quite a fight. And now that I'm out of energy I'm simply going to go throw these fish in a bin. Hopefully they make me a lot of money and that'll be the end of this day. The lake I was fishing at is still more valuable than the ocean even in winter. That's something I was curious about so that solves that. 
And let's see what all those fish are worth. A modest 2300 gold. There's the breakdown, should you be curious. The sturgeon, I believe, are the most valuable fish. Each one, 300 gold. Skipping ahead to the 7th of winter, it is a new week technically, being Sunday. That means I can give Linus more gifts. And thanks to another well-placed spring onion, Linus is up to two hearts. Only one more before he gives me what I want. Alright, so I just gave Linus his second gift of the week. So now I'm just going to spend the rest of this day doing a little fishing because I still need more money. And then I'm pretty much just going to sleep the rest of the week away. 12pm and I'm tired of fishing already, so I'm going to return to my farm. This is what I caught, quite a few fish, should be at least a few thousand gold. That's a step in the right direction. And that concludes the 8th of winter. The fish I caught today, worth 2000 gold, there's the breakdown. So at this point I think I'm basically just going to sleep through until I can give Linus some gifts again because I don't really have anything I feel I can do productively until then. Aside from catching a few more fish, but that can wait. I really only need one more half day of fishing to hit 10,000 gold and that should be lots to get me started with my spring crops again. 10 seconds later it is Sunday, obviously a new week so back to see Linus. I also really need to remember that next week I don't want to give him two gifts right away at the start of the week otherwise I won't be able to give him one on Christmas. He's still only at two hearts, but he doesn't particularly love spring onions, so it's going to take a few to get him there. I'm guesstimating the Christmas gift will be the one to put him over the top. And one more time. Still two hearts, on to next week. Just like that, it's already the 25th of winter, Christmas, or whatever they call it in Stardew Valley. So hopefully Linus is in his usual spot in his tent and I will give him his gift and he will really enjoy it. And just like that, he's up to three hearts, he's truly in love with me. Now I'm not sure but I believe the recipe will probably come in the mail. So I will check that tomorrow and I will clear my mail today while I'm thinking about it. So here it is the next day, check the mail and sashimi just like that. Now all I need is my house upgrade but I need some money to do that so that will happen sometime in the next year. It is the last day of winter now so I'm going to spend a little more time doing some fishing because I need another 2000 gold or so before spring because I want to plant those seeds right away and start the profit train rolling. Just after 11am I've caught 14 fish that should bring me close enough to 10,000 that I will be able to buy my seeds for spring. I've also put my cloth in the bin, I'm curious to see how much it's worth because if you get some value from that, that makes the crab pots a little more valuable. Okay, so 2000 gold from the fish, that's perfect, and a whole 940 gold from the cloth, so it's actually pretty valuable. If I could turn crab pots into cloth regularly, that would be actually really good profit. So here we are, first is spring, first things first, clear the crap out of my field once again. Then as soon as that store is open, going to buy my new spring seeds. Okay, I think I got this all hoed properly, I'll find out once I seed it, so in saying that, I'm gonna go buy those little guys. When I said I needed 10,000 gold for seeds, I wasn't really thinking about fertilizer either, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to afford that or not. Well. I got 100 cauliflower and 19 fertilizer, so that means I can fertilize one fifth of the crop. That was poor planning on my part, I wish I had have thought of that before spring came along. Once again, I'm having a problem, I bought 100 seeds, they should all plant and I have one left over and I cannot find my missing spot. And no, it's not hiding behind a scarecrow, I already checked. Okay, just found it. Right here. Forgot to hoe it, that's why it disappeared on me. The best part of this crop is, I don't need to manually water it. The sprinklers will take care of it, and then by the time these are ready to go, I can roll right into strawberries. So, this is what it looks like the next day. Sprinklers are taking care of it, so I just sleep through until they're all grown up. Okay, since it's raining on the 6th of spring, I'm gonna go see if I can hook the legend fish up there in the pond because I haven't hooked him yet and it's just something I want to do. If I do happen to catch him, he is very valuable, I believe in a neighborhood of 10,000 gold if he's gold quality. But like I said, I doubt I'll catch him, he's really hard to catch, especially without the better rod and lures and all that stuff. So in order to hook him, it needs to be spring, raining, your fishing skill needs to be level 9 or 10, and you need to cast toward that log. And here he is making an appearance. Not even close. Well that's about it for my effort of trying to catch him today. 10.30 a.m. when I hooked him, wasn't even close. Probably need the upgraded rod and the cork bobber lure to catch him and even then quite a challenge so not gonna bother. Back to bed and sleep until the crop is ready. Okay so it turns out I was wrong on my calculations for when his crop would be ready. Today is the 13th. So it's the egg festival. Normally I would buy 
strawberries with all my profit from all these, but as you can see, they're not ready to go, so it's going to be one more day and I'm not going to be able to do strawberries. Not the end of the world, I'll just plant something else, still make money, life goes on. Okay, I picked them all up, 11 gold quality, 5 silver, 83 regular. Now I'm just going to wait for the store to open so I can sell these and get the quick profit and buy seeds right away and turn them around and plant them. I'm not going to throw these in a bin and wait overnight because I'll lose a lot of my hoed spaces and I don't want to have to re-hoe everything. So whatever crop I buy now is going to be less valuable than cauliflower but still profitable. And I'm going to try and get one that's going to last basically till the end of the month. That way I can turn it into blueberries without having to redo my whole field again. So I have 1,000 gold right now and 21,000 after selling my cauliflower. So 20,000 gold in value. Actually, I should have time if I plant cauliflower one more time. 12 days to grow, 14th a day. Should work out. Unless my math is once again incorrect. Also, I bought the remaining 80 fertilizer. I need to do my entire crop, so this next one should be pretty valuable. The last one essentially doubled my money, so this should go two and a half times my investment or so. 11.30 AM, they're already planted, fertilized, watered. Now I'm going to sleep till the end of the month. And after selling those, Farming leveled up, level 9, I can make the seed maker, that's pretty handy. Iridium sprinklers, always good, don't have iridium yet. Probably never gonna get there on this farm. Just like that, the last day of the month, they're all ready to go, the weeds are getting close to my crop. So pretty straightforward, pick them all, throw them all in the bin. The one downside of these cauliflower is that once I pick them, there's nothing left behind to hold the spot until tomorrow. So. At the start of summer, I'm going to lose probably half of these hoed spaces, so I'm going to have to take the time to redo them all. That is another reason I like strawberries and blueberries and everything, because the plants last into the next season. So the total value for those, 24,520, there's the numbers, pretty good. Now we move into summer. So as you can see, I lost almost all of my hoed spots, but that's okay, the store is not open yet anyway, so I'll take the time this morning to do them all. It only took me until 8.30 to get them all hoed. Unfortunately, I do have to water these ones manually on the first day. 11 a.m. Crop is watered. Time to go get my seeds. Obviously, blueberries. 100 of them, of course. Non-fertilized. And just like that, already planted. Easy peasy. 14th of summer and they're all ready to go for their first harvest. So that makes 299 regular quality, 2 gold, 1 silver, and lots of money. How much money exactly? Just under 17,000 gold for the first harvest. And here we go again. That should be another 17,000. That is correct. Easy money. The 22nd already today. That means it's the second last harvest of the season. And after that harvest, I've leveled up to level 10. And I now have the choice between artisan and agriculturist. And I think I'm going to go with artisan on this one because I don't see there being a lot of money in crops in this field layout. I think the money is probably in other things. Final day of summer, which means the final harvest of summer. Another 17,000 gold worth of blueberries. Just under 18,000 gold this time, and on to fall. I'm already up to 86,000 gold, and those valuable cranberries should push me well over 100,000. And since I've now got some extra money, I'm going to head to get my house upgraded. I of course need the first upgrade because that gets me the kitchen, which means I can make sashimi, hopefully from the stuff out of my crab pots. Okay, so just like that, 10,000 gold, 450 wood, only takes a few days, new kitchen. And now of course, buy my seeds. They are expensive, 100 seeds cost 24,000 gold, but I make that back in no time. All planted, back to the waiting game. Okay, it's been three short days, that means it's the fourth of fall and my new kitchen is ready. And I now have the option of making sashimi, requires any fish. And what it does, gives you 75 energy, 30 health, or some money. Only takes 8 days for the first harvest to be ready, so here we go with that. Same numbers as last year, 160 regular, 32 silver, 19 gold. And I actually find this new house kind of annoying because I have to run forever just to get back to bed. So there it is, first harvest, 18,721 gold. That almost pays for the initial price of seeds and that's just the first harvest. Another 5 days, another harvest of cranberries. Fast forward to the 28th of fall, the last day and the last harvest. I'm currently holding on to the previous 4 harvests. So now we'll throw them all in together, all in one. And so we're looking at 75,000 gold for those 4 harvests together. There's some of the numbers. Nothing surprising there. Well, now that I've got all this money, obviously it's time for crab pots. 
I'm gonna buy a whole bunch more and see if I can turn them into some kind of useful money. I should be able to buy just under 100 of them. That's a lot of crab pots that will take up quite a bit of room in my farm and hopefully I'll be able to turn those into valuable profit one way or another. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the store to open at 9 o'clock. And just like that, 98 brand new crab pots. And I have 10 gold to my name. Now that I've painstakingly found a home for each and every one of those 98 crab pots, it's just a matter of going to bed and tomorrow they will all be full of good stuff and then I will see what they're worth all by themselves. It's also important to note how long it takes to grab this stuff out of all these. I've just finished gathering them all up. It is a painstakingly slow process. I really don't want to have to do that every day. It was about 9.30 when I was done. And looking at the numbers, 32 crayfish, 33 snails, and 36 periwinkles. We'll consider this an average day, so I will simply throw them in the bin and see what an average day gets me. We're looking at 5,265 gold, all for just collecting the stuff and throwing it in the bin. Crayfish, obviously most valuable, 2,400. Snails, periwinkle, worth less. We'll see if we can turn that into a little bit more money. Obviously too, I could just throw all the garbage I collected into the recycling machine as well, but that takes so much time, I'm just really not even going to bother. The most valuable thing you can get out of there that I found so far is a cloth, which is pretty valuable, but the odds of getting it are not hugely high. And it just takes so much time before you actually get any that I'm just not going to bother. 9 o'clock today, already done. Made that a little bit faster today. 36 snails, 35 periwinkles, 28 crayfish. Now, let's see what we can turn into sashimi. Obviously some things, so I'll just keep clicking until it stops. And just like that, 99 sashimi. Not sure how much these are worth offhand, so we'll throw it in the bin and see if we get anything. Hopefully I get like 100,000 gold for that because that's a lot of work. And we're looking at a total of 7,425 gold for 99 sashimis. That means each one is worth 75 gold. And I actually can't remember how much an individual crayfish is worth, but I think it's about 75 gold. Obviously, if it was any higher, you wouldn't turn it into sashimi because that would lessen the value of it. Anyways, that's not bad. If I get 7,500 gold per harvest of all this, it is a little bit time consuming, but all I really do have to do is pick it all up. So if I were to continue to cover my entire field with this, I have at least twice the space left, so I would probably get over 20,000 gold per day if I was to do my entire field in crab pots. In saying that, I'm not going to do that because that would just take way too much time and I've got other videos I want to make instead. This was an interesting idea. I feel like I covered it fairly thoroughly. I like the result. Uh, obviously it wasn't a lot of money and I didn't think it would be from the beginning, but I had to try anyway. And as I stated in the beginning, this allows you to use a little more of the real estate that's on this farm because the land is fairly limited. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I think that's going to be it for this series unless I come back to it later and want to expand on it, but I don't see the point. I'm going to be starting a new series hopefully tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. This next one I'm pretty excited for. I'm really curious to see the result, so that should be awesome. Anyways, let me know what you think as always. Thanks for watching. Keep it up with the awesome comments.